Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of VGC Source. I'm your host, Stephen McInerney, and these are today's headlines. Gran Turismo 7 will benefit from all PS5 tech. Game Freak could expand by 15%. And new Pokemon Snap is announced for Nintendo Switch. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of VGC Source. I hope you're all feeling good and ready for some of the big news from the games industry. Make sure to hit that subscribe button as well if you are new to the channel. We're going to start today with the news that Gran Turismo 7 will benefit from almost every single technological enhancement of PlayStation 5. That's according to Simon Rutter, PlayStation's Executive Vice President for Europe, who detailed several features set to appear in Polyphony Digital's next-gen racing game. In an interview with The Guardian this week, the exec claimed that loading times in GT7 would be next to nothing compared to past games, thanks to PS5's high bandwidth SSD drive. He also talked up the benefits of the console's 3D audio and DualSense controller, which features haptic feedback to give the players the sensation of feeling textures. He said, sitting in the cockpit, the 3D audio allows you to hear the thunderous roar of a Ferrari behind you or in front of you, and you can recognise the difference between that and the engine noise of a Maserati. Driving the car using the DualSense controller, you'll have a different feeling in your hands from the smooth undulating tarmac of a racetrack compared to the gritty sensation on a gravel track. Pressing a soft accelerator will feel very different than pressing on a stiff brake pedal or gear pedal. Gran Turismo 7, the first series installment since 2017's GT Sport, was shown running on the next-gen PlayStation console during a digital event last week. Polyphony Digital CEO Kazunori Yamauchi has previously suggested the studio would prioritise increased frame rates over higher display resolutions for Gran Turismo 7. Yamauchi has also said that the next Gran Turismo game would incorporate the past, present and future of the series. In our second news story of the day, Pokemon developer Game Freak could expand its dev team by 15%. The Tokyo-based studio revealed it will hold an online recruitment seminar next week, in which it's seeking to hire 23 individuals across art, programming and design. According to the event's Japanese description, Game Freak is searching for individuals who can face the challenge of developing titles that are played not only in Japan but across the world. And according to the company's Japanese Twitter account, the positions will be part of the core team and work on the Pokemon series. As of December 2019, Game Freak employed some 143 people. Once the new positions are filled, the studio could increase 16% to around 166 people, including contractors, assuming its staff count hasn't reduced since 2019. With three titles released last year, Game Freak is enjoying the most productive release period in its history. This year, it will release two expansions for Pokemon Sword and Shield, and new ports of original game Little Town Hero. The traditional handheld focused studio is also facing up to the challenges of high definition game development. Despite some of its first home console releases having been criticised for their visual detail, Game Freak has enjoyed huge success with Nintendo Switch Pokemon Sword and Shield, which sold more than 17 million units in its first six months. And in our final news story of the day, the Pokemon company has announced new Pokemon Snap for Nintendo Switch. New Pokemon Snap is a completely new title based on the original game released for Nintendo 64 20 years ago. The game will be developed by Bandai Namco and take place on an unknown island where players can investigate the ecology of various Pokemon. Pokemon Company CEO Sunakazi Ishihara said, We're hard at work releasing new Pokemon Snap for Nintendo Switch. We look forward to sharing more details with you soon. Guys, unfortunately, that's all we got time for on this episode of VGC Source. Do let us know down in the comments what you make of today's headlines. And given the release date is edging closer, make sure to check out our Last of Us 2 review. For now, have a wonderful day. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and we'll see you tomorrow.